Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to set up a product using the PayPal Simple Shopping Cart plugin so that you are able to auto-deliver a digital file. Now, with this plugin, you could sell physical goods or digital goods, so there's just really um, a couple of different changes you have to make in order to sell a digital product, and then the tool, um, PayPal Simple Shopping Cart, will auto-deliver that digital product to your customer after purchase. So here I have a page set up here for, for a product. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify this page in the short code um, in order to sell a digital product instead. And just so I don't time out of PayPal, what I'm gonna do is show you that step first because what we need to do is set up in PayPal, we need to set up instant payment notifications. And what that does is when a customer makes a purchase, um, PayPal sends um, confirmation of that purchase back to um, WP PayPal Simple Shopping Cart so that the the tool can process that that transaction and in essence deliver the digital file so we have to make sure we turn on instant payment notification there and to do that I went into profile and then I chose the profile and settings link and then I on the left side here I chose my selling tools now depending on your country this may be set up slightly different um, in your PayPal account but it should be relatively similar. So under my selling tools, just scroll down and you'll see just under getting paid and managing my risk, you can see instant payment notifications. And we'll click on update on that on the right side there. And we can see that it's enabled here. So what we can do, um, if it's not enabled, click on edit. and then choose to receive IPN messages. So this enables it and then click on save. For the notification URL, that's not relevant in this case because each add to cart button that gets created with WP um, Simple PayPal Shopping Cart, it, it, um, it adds the notification URL, it encodes that within the button. Um, so there's no need for, or, for PayPal to know ahead of time what that is. So it doesn't matter what you put in this in this field here. Just make sure that IPN is turned on, click save, and then the plugin will handle the rest from there. All right, so let's go back here. And I'm using the product display box. Um, you could just as easily use uh, the standard um, add to cart button. So WP underscore cart underscore button short code. You can use that just the same. Um, really, the only diff the only change that you need to make to the short code is adding the file URL in there. So file underscore URL equals, and then put the path to the digital file that you want them to be able to download after purchase. So I'm going to copy that in there, and naturally we don't want to charge shipping in this case since it is a digital file. A digital product and in many cases there probably isn't any sort of very vari variation control for digital products so we'll get rid of that and then I'll click on update and that's it now once that file URL is in there the plugin knows to deliver that file after successful payment. That's really all there is to it. Um, it doesn't necessarily make any changes on the front end here. You click refresh. Of course, I got rid of the variation control. And when we add this to the cart, we see that there's no shipping. There's no shipping cost, which is um, which makes sense in this situation for selling a digital file. But what happens is once the customer checks out, the, uh, the file becomes available to that customer automatically. And if you have any concern at all, you can look at the button and you can see that the URL is not shown in there. It's actually an encrypted URL, the file URL, as you can see right here. So that information is not easily found by the customer. Um, there's no way they would know the URL based on that information right there. All right, that's it uh, for adding digital files, selling digital files on your website with the WP Simple PayPal Shopping Cart plugin. Again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.